I had something else, but I don't remember. So that you can cut there. And it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Hello, Defiers. This is Monday, Traga's community manager. And today we push another patch with our V1 creative mode, additional build items, and some more bug fixes. For this video, we spoke with the devs on some build features, what you can expect, and then we'll do a tour of our audio director's insane half survival, half creative city builds to give you some inspiration to take with you into the patch. So let's jump into our chat with the directors. Hi, my name is Dwight. I'm the art director. I'm Tony. I'm the game director here at Trega. And I just want to give a big thank you to all of our people who have supported us. Uh, everyone who's jumped into our Discord, an active community there, and gotten into the feature upvote site to help guide our EA. Thank you. This patch is focused around creative mode and building. Yeah, so for the build system, uh, first off, it, it's more of a twofold thing. One would be the structure kit as a base. There are several pieces that are specific to the stone kit, several pieces specific to the wood kit. So really this is an attempt to round off both of those kits together. So things that are were normally missing and you only can get it in the stone kit, now you should be able to see a variant of it. This is also adding in some things for the thatch kit as well. And now there's gonna be posts that you can use for the stone and the thatch. So all three of them, you should be able to play with things like that. Lastly, uh, you would get some decor updates uh, Greek daybed, as well as an assortment of pillows in various shapes and sizes. So together with all of these uh, changes and new updates, you should be able to create something more of a cozy living space. Uh, so hopefully, you know, the players will actually uh, love these changes and come up with some cool, interesting things. So I think the most exciting part would be actually the archways. Typically when you're playing these games, uh, I you don't really see an assortment of different shapes and silhouettes within the pieces. It's usually just surface level. So I think that's one of the most exciting things for the build kit. Uh, just a variety of shapes. Uh, the second would be cloth. The cloth collection of pillows would be the beginning of that. Uh, that with some of the customizability options, uh, you should be able to come up with some really cool interior spaces and also for the exterior as well. Some features that players may not know is uh, every piece will have a style choice. So right now walls have a style choice that are windows. Doorways have a style choice that are doors. So there's a, there's a hotkey set for that in the bottom of your screen that shows you how to swap styles there. You'll be surprised on what interesting shapes you would get out of the build system by simply overlapping railings with walls, overlapping columns on top of each other you should get some pretty interesting results. So the functionality of the build tool, the piece gets thrown at the end of your line trace, and then there's a magnetism system that kind of sucks it back into position. Uh, there's a lot of thought put into how the pieces snap into position. If you're looking up at ceilings, uh, a lot of times they'll be floating out in space, but there's extra logic and code in our system that pulls that piece back into position. Uh, the same is true when you're building up on a second floor and, and building out when you're looking down over the edge, it'll be floating out and you can't get it to snap. That is um, special logic that we have to pull that piece back into position. There are other things like pillars, snapping pillars to pillars, snapping stairs to stairs. Uh, there is special logic that we have in there as well that makes sure that those pieces snap together a um, lot easier than they do in other systems. Long term for the build system, we want to improve some general snap logic to make a couple scenarios a lot easier to use, uh, as well as start to really push into the customization side of being able to change color variants and stuff like that on pillows and curtains, things of that nature. Uh, on the art side, really want to lean into the uh, Corinthian art style, uh, adding some new buildable pieces where you actually can see some sculpted feathers into the columns, um, some more uh, hand sculpted uh, curvature that you would see on walls, uh, cornices, just entablatures in general. Uh, you should see a lot more sculpted detail in those pieces. Uh, right now, we're giving you a random assortment of pieces, but in the future to have something a little bit more organized and staged, I think we would be doing the, the furniture packs. So you would have a living room version and that may come with more day beds, more floor pillows, floor mats wall decor such as paintings and whatnot uh, all the way to maybe a, a bedroom or a personal quarters pack 
where you might see dressers, bookcases. Uh, keep making cool stuff. Uh, I'm seeing, I'm really impressed with what the community is doing right now. I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff come through, especially with, you know, the, the, what we essentially gave the community so far. It's, it's pretty cool. So uh, adding in these new pieces, I think it's going to be really, really exciting to see what the community comes up with. So hope you guys enjoy the update. Now our V1 creative mode does not complete all objectives on the map for you, but it adds some new rule sets that disable resource costs and unlocks all recipes. So you'll quickly be able to craft all level hammers to enable you to use the wood, thatch, and stone kits without any resources. Audio director Nathan's made great use of these tools so far, and while his builds were made before the additional buildables were added, we're sure his impressive structures can inspire your next creative challenge. Let's take a tour and hear some of his elite builder tips. <laughs> Everyone's ready to see the full thing now that we think you're mostly finished. Yeah, kind uh, of. <laughs> okay. Do you have a name for your city? Uh, not really. Just a big Greek city, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to turn around and see how much you built. <laughs> uh, it, start <laughs> it started with your, your theater at the top, right? Yeah, I started with the amphitheater way up in the hills. Is there a particular building you want to start us with? Um, well, we can start with this one back here. I just built this just a while ago. It's just kind of an outdoor, like, eatery place. Nice. Um, I kind of like how I did these three tables, like, built little things in the middle just to do a little step up. I thought it was kind of neat. Yeah. And then this, I spent about a day <laughs> making this thing. Um, it's supposed to be a big cathedral, mm -hmm. and the big challenge was I'm, there's a huge cross on the ceiling, and then trying to make the ceiling look really cool. It's tricky. I kind of had to build it like with scaffolding, um, just to build like outlines and then build off of that. And then I, I kind of like this front thing, kind of use crates. I've learned that basically if you set down um, a a chest that's like a quarter piece and you can set pieces off of that and then destroy the chest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it allows you to get some more interesting um kind of shapes but yeah so this took a while but um it's kind of a neat kind of a neat yeah, big beautiful. building so up here how i got the step out um or this little mm -hmm. block out thing was by using one of the, the uh, chest pieces so I set a chest piece on the edge first before I built the inner part. This, there was a gate here. I had a bunny stuck in there and I wanted to see how long he'd stay in there, but he's gone, I guess. This was kind of like just a little um, church or chapel or something like that. Mm -hmm. I kind of had fun with these little side pieces to try and do the floor weird. This was the day that I learned that I could put the banners in the window pieces to kind of work yeah. like curtains. Yeah. Which was really exciting buildings. This was just kind of, I wanted to make like a gazebo sort of shaped thing. So it's just kind of an outdoor decoration. So this was just, this um, was supposed to be like a little chapel. And the mm -hmm. ceiling was the real kind of fun part because the wood building looks really neat. One side of, I did a little bit more um, controlled and the other side's a little more random. But so the trick for that is you have to, um, Put the wind, put the uh, railing piece in, and then you mm -hmm. add a, the two by four stone or the like the short little stone piece, mm -hmm. and then you add another one of the railings and then the stone, and then once you're done, you delete all the stone. This was just kind of like a sort of restaurant, tavern. yeah, tavern. And the cool thing I had in here was um, setting these front windows up on top of a stone piece so they were mm -hmm. up higher. Oh, you've also put, uh, you've made a tablecloth here. Yeah. I didn't notice that. <laughs> the stairs were kind of fun. I tried to do some weird shapes on the side to get all mm -hmm. the planters. And I wanted kind of a grand entrance way. I can start the fires because there's kind of a neat effect if you're inside and yeah. you look out. I'm using these fires Ooh. out here to kind of light up. Yeah, that is cool. At night, it looks really even cooler, too, because you get the light in there. 
See, this Over is here. how I would like my actual house to be. <laughs> just like All kinds of levels. <laughs> yeah. This building over here, in the bottom, there's a, it's just kind of like a big workshop mm -hmm. for, I don't know, like the ar oh. army guys. I, I had fun with the ceiling, um, making oh, X's yeah. and stuff like that. It looks really strong. And then this is kind of like a little bedroom area, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then this had the, like the ceiling looks cool to me on this with the X's. Hi, your stuff. ceilings are always really cool. I never think about the ceiling. <laughs> and I guess we can take the stairs up the... the you ready the, to take the, the big stairs? Yeah, the big staircase. So there's a ton of little flower beds. And then you can see the whole the, the city from, from up here, which is pretty cool. I like to do these little railings. And there, here's, a, I think there's another music box here. Yeah, got another music box. Turn them on. So this is like the, the, you know, the high priority seating, I guess you could yeah. say. <laughs> um, yeah, I was trying to get the columns to seem bigger because I want bigger columns and the ones below weren't big enough for me. So I tried to make mm -hmm. this more fancy top part. And then trying to get these stairs to work, like spots like this was real tricky to turn. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of had to build, I built around these rocks because when I first built this, I just picked a place in the hill to try and build this amphitheater naturally yeah. inside the rocks. And then this was like a little workroom. I wanted to build something inside. This was mm -hmm. kind of a, a smelter and some stuff down here. Just this is the concession room. Yeah, and they st store all the hot dogs for the, <laughs> yeah. for the show. And then I put a door here to keep the wolves out. Because they're around. Oh, they're upstairs, yeah. And then this walkway is neat because it goes across the entire mm. thing. Oh, well, maybe we'll go down and see those fires real quick while it's dark. Yeah, <laughs> let's go for it. Just glide straight <laughs> off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Whee! The good part about being able to fly. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for playing with us and we look forward to seeing what you guys create with these new tools added in today's patch. Keep in mind we have an active weekly build challenge that closes today. So you're welcome to submit with these new creative tools for a chance for your build to be featured in the first episode of Temple Trackers. For more information, join our Discord or visit the Steam Community Hub. Cheers to fires and stay tuned for more updates.